Hey guys and gals and extraterrestrials, this is Brandon and this is a TV Gamers review on Deathfall Adventures for the Xbox 360. Deadfall Adventures is a first-person shooter action adventure video game developed by Farm51 and published by Nordic Games. Okay, you are James Lee Quartermain, a cocky joker, a goofy in it for the money adventurer who reluctantly agrees to help the US government find a legendary artifact some way in Egypt before the Nazis or the Russians oh, do the but this is not going to be a walk in the park hand in hand with your partner nope there's going to be environmental challenges like traps ranging from spikes fire cracked out pits blizzards and if that's not enough throw in some evil mummies I like the sound okay, of that. this is how it goes. You start off getting attacked almost immediately in the beginning of the game. I don't like the sound of that. By some hired gunmen who obviously don't want you there, but soon you'll be fighting the Nazi. Ah, the Yankee is awake. Good morning, Mr. Quarterman. And the Russians, the bad guys, well, can get a bit tough take down depending on the difficulty you are playing on and the AI uh, is not the best and it can go weird at times and glitches do happen but nothing extreme to make you throw in the towel no we don't want that do we? For the weapon side, there's a good amount of weapons and two types of grenades in the game. Nothing high tech, you'll just have to make do with old school 1940s World War II weapons. And honestly, it is balanced quite well throughout the game. Like there are scenarios where the dynamite will work better than the stick grenade. In some places you will substitute like the machine gun for a sniper rifle. And Yes, you can only carry two weapons, one grenade type and a pair of pistols with unlimited ammo as your default gun. So don't worry about running out of ammo. I like the sound of that. There's also a reward system to upgrade your character by collecting hidden treasures throughout the game that will require some thinking and checking every corner. The upgrade system is nothing major, but I'm happy it's simple and it works well in the game. Almost in the beginning of the game through to the end, you'll be solving Tomb Raider Uncharted style like puzzles in order to progress through the game. Some of the puzzles can make your head spin depending the difficulty you selected. A feature I hardly find in any game, which is really cool. I played it on medium difficulty and it was not that difficult but slightly challenging. In my second playthrough I played on the easy setting and the puzzles became uh, well easy. Take note Crystal Dynamics, Naughty Dog, but you will rarely be alone as not Hagen. Hagen, a Nazi who suddenly decides to help you. This you need both. No run! I am the sheriff. Stein trusts me. Hmm. I don't trust this guy. And the beautiful Jennifer Goodwin, a US agent who tags along and will help you solve many of the game's puzzles. Locations from around the world, like Egypt, 
I get you in, I get you out. An Arctic. And forgotten Mayan ruins in the jungles of Guatemala. And the graphics are not some of the best, but also not bad at all. It does come with some frame rate issues, but I only experienced it in one or two places. And there's also a multiplayer with five game modes. Deathmatch, team deathmatch, capture the artifact, treasure hunt, team treasure hunt, and last man standing. But sadly, I can't tell you anything about it because I couldn't get any games. I don't think there's people playing it anymore. But like overall, if you fancy some Indiana Jones type of game, I think you will like this. Heck, I liked it. Seriously. Hope you guys, gals and extraterrestrials enjoy this quick game review and hey, if you played this game, let me know what you're thinking. This is TV Gamers and stay awesome. Please, stay awesome.